I know you are well prepared. I know you are well prepared. Your exams will be a piece of cake. I really hope you do well. I really hope you do well in all the papers that you take. Burn the midnight oil. Study hard and toil. Give exams your best to try so you can break free and fly. So, hello, my shimmering stars. Today, I, Shorya Grover, welcome you all to this amazing platform of PW English. Today, students, we are going to discuss how to attend exam paper or how to attempt your examination. Basically, students, I have seen that many of the students know the syllabus. They have revised the syllabus, but they don't know how to solve the question paper or they don't know how to attend the exam paper. So, today we are going to bring some of the tips in front of you that how you have to solve your paper and how you have to calm your mind during the examination. Basically, no matter how well you prepare for the exam, but if you are not able to write down all the knowledge in the right way on the examination day, then all your hard work goes in vain. Yes. So, today I will be telling you some of the tips. So, first of all, it is well observed that students often become nervous, right? While writing examination and whatsoever they have learnt, they just forget it. So, the very first tip in front of you is to read the instructions. Now, you all are being provided with 15 minutes prior to the examination when you have to start writing the paper. Yes. So, in that particular 15 minutes, you have to utilize it out very carefully. For example, you have been given such a kind of question paper. Okay. Now, what you have to do is you have to read the instructions very carefully in these 15 minutes. Right. For example, you have been given instructions in English as well as in Hindi or as per your language. Right. You have to read uh, each point. You have to see which of the following question is given. How much marks? Right. This should be kept in your mind. For example, sometimes what happens? The question is a one mark, but student is writing a you know, two or three pages for that. That is wrong. When it is mentioned to you that it is very short type answer question, you have to write in very short type. When it is mentioned to you it in long type answer question, then you have to write, you know, according to the marks. So, you have to read the instructions so that while writing the examination, while writing the paper, you will keep these things in your mind. Yes, because CBSC provides its students with an additional 15 minutes and for that, this additional 15 minutes should be utilized properly. Rather than wasting it and, you know, talking with each other while sitting in examination, utilize it, right? Now, students over here only, they have given you the best, you see. Now, he is reading it, the examination paper very carefully and you all have to keep this in mind. See, write adequate answers. Now, what happens? See, adequate answer here refers to as you have to see which of the following question carries how many marks. Okay, because you know, for example, sometimes what happened, we have prepared a certain topic and we have been given, for example, to define something. Let us say in two marks, they have given you define a particular, uh, you know, mechanism or they define a particular definition they have given you. But what you do, you are writing definition also, you are writing its causes also, you are writing its effects also. That is the wrong way to attempt any question. The thing that is being asked, you have to write accordingly. If they are asking you the causes for a certain question, the causes for a certain topic, just write the causes. If they are asking you the effects, just write the effects. In definition, if you are writing the causes and effects, your whole answer will be wrong. Right? So, read each and every question very carefully. Right? So, write <laughs> adequate answers as per the marking scheme also and as per asked in the question itself. Great? Okay. Now, students, your next thing that you need to keep in your mind is prioritizing the questions. Now, this is also really very essential part. You have to see that which of the following question weights, you know, higher marks or carries more marks in comparison to other question or you can even prioritize accordingly that which will acquire more time and which will acquire less time so that you can divide your hours accordingly and solve your question paper according to that 
yes so prioritize the question for example if you have been provided with mcq section then you have to give you know few minutes to mcqs you don't have to wait completely one hour to the mcqs or to the one mark questions no you have to give certain minutes to very short questions then to short type answer questions then to long type answer questions because see while writing long type answer questions or your three marks questions you require some of the time right so you know divide your time accordingly okay right now see students your next tip is decorating the answer sheet is of no use now many students think that you know teacher will get impressed if i decorate with certain pens no not at all you have to just write your accurate answers that's it just if you want to you know highlight some of the key points you can underline them or you can write them in bold letters this you can do in your exams right but do not decorate it right so do keep these things in your mind now the most important keep calm you know the answers you have well prepared for it the complete whole year but when examination arises you are in panic situations so much of mood swings are there so you have to make yourself that okay it's exam and i can do i have learned everything i have revised everything and yes i will do it my best so give your best don't get stressed in these situations right keep yourself calm and yes students the most important check your answer sheet after completing all the questions it's your duty to check that you have attempted all the questions or not and if you have written all the questions or not so you can check according with the question paper first question done second done third done fourth done like this okay so do check your answer sheet and yes if you have not missed any sheet do check that also so thank you so much students i hope so now this will help you out in order to solve your exams very properly and now you will be able to attend your exam paper nicely so all the very best for your upcoming examination thank you so much have a good day